of Bililux Phototherapy Light is designed to reduce the serum bilirubin concentration in premature babies and neonates with hyperbilirubinemia by means of phototherapeutic radiation. It is intended for use with patients up to 3 months of age who weigh less than 10 kilograms. The Bililux Phototherapy Light can be combined with a spring arm and trolley. An optional radiometer is also available to measure the phototherapeutic effective irradiance produced by the phototherapy light. The Bililux Phototherapy Light can be used in hospital departments that provide neonatal and infant care, including nurseries and NICU levels 1 to 4. In the following scenes, we will show you how to position the Bililux in different neonatal workplaces. On an incubator hood, with an optional spring arm mounted as an incu warmer, with an optional trolley positioned as an open warming bed and incubator. The Bililux phototherapy light can be placed directly on an incubator hood. Grab it with two hands on the short sides and position the light with the long side of the light parallel to the long side of the hood. The four corners of the light have slip-resistant feet on the bottom that help to keep the light in place. Finally, attach the power cord to the device. The Bililux with spring arm consists of the phototherapy light, an adjustable spring arm, and mounting provisions that allow the Bililux to be used with various Draeger warming therapy devices and sealing supply units. In the following scenes, we'll show you how to adjust the Bililux with the spring arm and how to position it correctly. First, attach the rail clamp to the clamp already mounted at the baby Leo. Take the spring arm and place it into the rail clamp. Then take the Bililux and attach it to the arm by using the quick connect mechanism. As soon as you hear the clicking sound, the connection is fixed. Finally, attach the power cord to the device and guide it through the cable clips. Adjust the phototherapy light to a position that will provide the optimum light coverage to the patient. The phototherapy light can be moved up or down, side to side, or swiveled 360 degrees. And you can move the bottom arm in the horizontal direction as needed to bring the Bililux closer or further away from the warming therapy device. You can also move the top arm up or down as needed. To move the Bililux, you should always have one hand close to the rail clamp and the other holding the quick connect. The Bililux with trolley consists of the phototherapy light, an adjustable spring arm, and a rolling trolley that allows the flexible use above an incubator, radiant warmer, crib, or bassinet. The trolley itself has four locking casters and a height-adjustable pole. Now we will demonstrate how to adjust the Bililux with the trolley and how to position it correctly. Insert the post on the bottom of the spring arm into the trolley pole and ensure that the arm is seated properly. Then tighten the tightening knob on the trolley to secure the arm. Insert the quick connect plug on the phototherapy light into the arm socket until it audibly clicks into place. To move the trolley, the brakes have to be released. Move the trolley to the certain warming device and position it above the patient. Guide the power cord cable through the cable clips. If you position the Bililux above an incubator, make sure that you position the trolley as close as possible below the incubator to have a small footprint. As soon as the trolley is in the right position, the casters have to be locked to prevent movement. Finally, switch on the light. Do not position the phototherapy light directly in the path of heat rays from the radiant warmer. The baby should still receive radiant heat, but also phototherapy light. The surfaces of the phototherapy light and the spring arm may become hot when used incorrectly with radiant warmers. Before the device is first placed into service, after it has been turned off, 
and after cleaning or service procedures. You always have to make sure that an electrical and control panel functional check has taken place. Confirm that all keys function properly and that all screens are displayed correctly. And make sure that all light options can be turned on and off. A malfunctioning phototherapy system may not provide correct therapy. Do not use the device if a malfunction was detected during the functional check procedure and do not use the device if any controls are not functional. For a detailed functional check, please refer to the IFU. This chapter will give you an overview of the control panel and the functionality of the different keys and buttons. All keys on the left side of the control panel are fixed and control the light. Use this key to start, pause and resume therapy. Here you can decrease irradiance of phototherapy light in 5 decrements of 20%. With this key you increase irradiance of phototherapy light in 5 increments of 20%. The LED indicators above the key illuminate in succession each time the key is pressed. The available settings are 20%, 40%, 60%, 80% and 100%. This is the on-off key for the observation light. The observation light operates independently of the phototherapy light. All keys and buttons on the right side of the control panel can be used to operate the graphical user interface. The menu key is used to select among various operational and service screens. These two buttons have several functions that are not defined on the currently selected screen. The Bellilux has several screens that will be explained in this chapter. To navigate to the next screen, press the menu key once. Phototherapy can continue while you navigate among different screens. After 15 seconds of inactivity, the display reverts to the phototherapy screen. Only the radiometer screen reverts back to the main screen after 3 minutes. The following screens can be displayed. The phototherapy screen shows the elapsed duration of therapy in hours and minutes, as well as therapy status. The double dot blinks when the phototherapy light is running. The radiometer screen allows the user to view and store irradiance readings measured by the radiometer. In case dashes are shown, the radiometer is not connected. On the phototherapy report screen, you can export the phototherapy report to a USB flash drive. The report contains a log file of the therapy duration, pauses, date and time, irradiance measurements, irradiance setting and adjustments. The configuration screen allows you to adjust date, time and language. The device status screen displays LED usage in hours, firmware version, and inspection dates. Here we show you how to adjust the date, time and language. Press the menu key until the configuration screen is displayed. It shows the currently set date and time, the language and the adjust button used to make the changes. Now press the adjust button on the configuration screen. The day field in the date is highlighted. Press the Increase button to adjust the day to the desired setting and press the Next button to confirm the setting and move to the next field. Repeat the process for each field in the date and time. The year can be adjusted until it reaches 2099. It then reverts to 2000. When all changes are complete, press the key to save the settings and to exit the configuration screen. Before you start a therapy, you have to consider the following important aspects. Monitor the patient's body temperature during phototherapy. Measure patient bilirubin levels regularly. Take steps to monitor and maintain positive water balance in the patient. Always use eye shields to protect the patient from phototherapy equipment radiation. Adjust the phototherapy light only by touching the housing and do not touch the LED panel since it may become warm during use. Before you start the phototherapy, make sure that the patient's eyes are protected by eye shields.
to switch on the device. Use the on-off switch located on the rear of the phototherapy light. The screen briefly shows the startup screen, which contains the Billylux firmware version and the current date and time. The screen then proceeds to the therapy screen. The device is ready for use immediately after startup. Now press the start key on the control panel to turn on the phototherapy light. The LED indicators also turn on to indicate the irradiance level. Adjust the irradiance to the desired level using the irradiance keys on the control panel. The phototherapy screen shows the elapsed therapy time in hours and minutes. The colon in the therapy time blinks on and off to indicate that therapy is in progress. Therapy will continue until one of the following occurs. Therapy is paused or ended by the user. The device is turned off via the on-off switch. The device loses power. To end therapy, press the reset button. The irradiance level is affected by the distance of the phototherapy light relative to the patient. Irradiance increases as this distance decreases. Conversely, irradiance decreases as the distance increases. The minimum distance between the light and the patient should be at least 30 centimeters. For an effective phototherapy, position the light over the patient so that it covers as much body surface as possible. Eye protection is needed, but the rest of the baby's clothing should be minimal. As mentioned in the introduction, clinical guidelines recommend measuring the irradiance that the baby receives. Therefore, we offer a radiometer as an option for the Bililux. Plug the radiometer into the receptacle on the rear of the phototherapy light. Before using the radiometer, make sure that the calibration is still valid. Press the menu key until the radiometer screen is displayed. You always have to choose those screens manually. To obtain the irradiance measurement, position the radiometer sensor close to the patient's skin without touching the patient. To store the current irradiance measurement, press the store button on the radiometer or the store button on the radiometer screen. Confirm that the last stored information at the bottom of the screen is updated. It is possible to use the same Billylux radiometer with different Billylux phototherapy lights. Irradiance readings obtained by different manufacturers' radiometers for the Billylux phototherapy light cannot be compared. In the following scenes, we will show you how to export a phototherapy report. First, stop phototherapy by pushing the reset button, but do not switch off the device. Ensure that the USB flash drive is connected to the USB port on the rear of the phototherapy light. Before you can export the report, you have to end the phototherapy. Go to the phototherapy screen and pause the phototherapy. To end the therapy, press the reset button. If you do not end the therapy, you will get an error message. No export during running therapy. Go to the phototherapy report screen by pressing the menu key. Now press the export button. The device will ask you if you want to delete all stored values after export. Please press cancel to keep the data or confirm to delete the data from the device. The phototherapy report contains entries for the following events. The Bellilux can record up to three phototherapy sessions in one report, with each session holding up to 30 entries. A fourth session will automatically override the oldest session. A session will end if one of the following occurs. Therapy is stopped by the user. The device is turned off via the on-off switch. The device loses power for more than 10 minutes. Further information can be found in the IFU. In the following scenes, we will show you how to disassemble the device. Switch off the device and then disconnect the power plugs. Allow the phototherapy light to cool down before beginning reprocessing procedures. All parts of the device have to be cleaned and disinfected between every patient or if the device has any soiling. Always remove soiling immediately by using a cloth dampened with disinfectant to remove soiling. Perform the surface disinfection of all device surfaces. Consult the IFU for a list of recommended surface disinfectants. Finally, wipe with a cloth dampened with water and let the device dry.
Now we will show you how to transport the device as easily as possible when used with the trolley. Make sure that the Billy Lux is attached to the trolley and lower the height of the trolley to the lowest position. Disconnect all cables or store them securely at the cable holder on the trolley. Fold the spring arm and move it to the storage location. Thank you for watching the video and enjoy using the Billy Lux. For further information on phototherapy, watch our doodle or go to draga.com slash jaundice.